Good morning, All-American Bill. We are working on the 65 Chevelle. We just pushed it out. We're gonna do a cold start on it and see how she runs. She run. It was running really fine yesterday. Yes, it was. Wasn't it, Ethan? Yeah, very nice, very nice. Okay, Ethan, go ahead and let, let's see what happens. We've let's already checked the oil, we already checked the water. Yes, we got water in it, guys. I hope it doesn't freeze this weird weather. Okay, three, two, one. Here we go. Cold start. satisfied with the chrome job or all the dents in my wheels I bought these off the speedway you can see the dents and the, look at that this is supposed to be a, a quality car look at that yeah look at that I don't know if you guys can see those nicks oh there's another one they keep on there's four blemishes on this one rim I could never sell anybody that kind of product especially when it's supposed to be brand new what's that side look like Yeah, but the chrome, look how dull the chrome yeah. is. The chrome's really dull. Yeah, I thought we were going to get high quality stuff, but... The front wheels are high quality. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess, no, look at that. You can see it, looks like... It's like fish eyes. Or orange peel. Anybody who has orange peel and chrome... I think brand new. What do you think? Can you see it in there, guys? I thought I was getting crow, not orange peel. I'll call it Monday and just see, you know. Hey, this is going to be a nice car, guys. <laughs> this ain't no piece of junk. Everything that's in this car is all brand new. brakes, new wheel cylinders, new shoes, new rear drums. Um, we don't even know what the rear end is going to be like. We might have a bad rear end. I don't know. I don't have a drive line to test any of that. It takes time. Drive line will probably be next week. Looks like a cylinder's dropping off in the cylinder. It's running out of fuel. It's running out of fuel. Pump, 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 pump. There you go. Grab you. There. Somebody tripped over it. Ethan, don't, don't. There you go. Can you squeeze that? Like, there you go. With, between your palms, use both hands. Squish them together, yeah. Okay, that's good. Restart this baby, Ethan, if you would, please. We're gonna go, because it did run out of deep fuel. Don't let, it, don't let it drop down there no more. There you go. We got the tail lights, we got all the lettering. I think we might be missing some trim. They're all coming around. 
takes time. It's early in the summer yet. We're gonna have this going soon. This thing is licensed. We got license plates for it. Just tap. Today we're gonna go ahead and straighten up the fenders, the doors, the trunk lid. We're gonna probably put the hood on, which is sitting leaning up against the International. I need to get rid of this International, guys. It's a 68 International with a 345 V8. The carburetor works great for a little bit, then all of a sudden it just overflows. It scares me. I just haven't had time to do anything with it, but it runs great, man. It starts right up. Yeah. But there's the hood to the Chevelle. We'll be putting that on today. I guess today we're gonna pull the motor out of the 61 so we can get the 350 that we just got into that so we don't have a smoking freaking car we're gonna have things perfect right on guys all american build keep on clicking we're talking at you guys later chevelle time today the South Dakota Pride with the 605. Keep on clicking, guys. We're talking to you guys later. Have a great Sunday. Be careful, guys. Thanks. Bye.